Hey, it, it's a blessing. You know, it was actually something that I was actually looking forward to. Um, you know, I, there's no control in the draft, but that was the team that I wanted to go to from the start. You know, uh, I just felt like going to the Browns, you know, I can make a difference on that D-line. And, Hey, Jordan, welcome to Cleveland. We've all been reading up on your bio. Can you give us a, a little bit of a scouting report on what kind of player you are just from your own standpoint? I consider myself a playmaker that just disrupts the middle, um, a pocket pusher in, in the, in the, in the uh, pass game, and just a disciplined run stopper. Uh, that's, that's who I consider myself to be. Thanks. Hey, you're the third SEC player taken by the Browns, and, and since you transferred from Texas, so you've had experience in another conference, how much? How much better is the the talent level in the SEC? Uh, you know, I'm not gonna say it, it's uh, a lot different. Uh, just scheme wise, things are different. Uh, so you get more opportunities in the SEC. I feel to just make plays. Um, the Big Twelve, you know, it's a it's a passing league, but it's a lot of quick passes, a lot of screens, stuff like that. So the SEC, I, I feel like it's more of a, a pro style type of um, uh, league. So. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jordan, uh, why did you want to play for the Browns? I mean, honestly, it was just a feeling that I had a long time ago, uh, probably when I uh, first left for the draft. It was just something just, I don't know, it was just something calling my name about the Browns. Like, my family members would have dreams about me going to play for them. So, you know, I, I don't know. I just feel like it's something that's meant to happen. Yeah, Jordan, I, I just – after you transferred, you, you had to take that year where, where you weren't able to play. You went scout team player of the year. What, what did you kind of learn about yourself during that year when you had to sit out? Uh, really just um, becoming a complete team player, um, doing it for my teammates, you know, just really falling in love with that process. You know, uh, that's something that uh, just being on scout team, like you said, and just looking at the other D linemen that they was going against that week and, and giving them the best looks. That was something that I fell in love with, and it, and it was like the competition for me. That was my game day, you know, every practice, just trying to be trying to be better than the person that they're going to go against. So it's easy for them on game day, and that's what I fell in love with. That's why uh, I just felt like um, that was like the most valuable lesson I learned just from that year. Uh, hi, welcome to Cleveland, Jordan. Um, the Thank you. The um, first real quick when you were talking about you had this feeling when you first met, was that at the combine or before? Uh, that was at the combine. Okay. And the family members that were dreaming about you going there, was that like your mom or who was that? So it was my mom's, it was my mom's boyfriend. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it was, it was real random. You know, it, it wasn't like we, I, I, I don't even talk about the process, you know, with, with uh, anybody. So for him to, for him to have that dream, you know, I kind of, it kind of just, let me know, you know, that's where I need to be. What I really wanted to ask you is, you do you feel like you're sort of just coming into your own? You know, you you had this big, you know, last season. Um, it's, I read somewhere where you might have lost 30 pounds. Is that true? But, I mean, you, with all this, you know, transferring and you didn't know what college you were going to go to, you feel like you're finally on the right track, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, for sure, you know, um, Maturity is a part of growing. It's a part of life, you know. Um, at this point, I feel like I'm 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 at a stage in my life where I'm ready to just uh, contribute and do it, you know, consistently. So, was that true that you lost thirty pounds? Oh yeah, yeah that's that's true. <laughs> totally revamp your diet, or what did you do? Yeah, so I cut out I cut out red meat and chicken. Um, I only uh, ate turkey and fish for a long time. Right now I'm on a no meat fast, so I just eat vegetables and stuff. But um, yeah, that's that's something that I uh, I did probably a year and a half ago. Just cut okay. out the red meat and chicken, and then I just started losing weight. You know, was, was working out more, and this all came together. Thanks so much. Thank you. Um, Jordan, can you just talk a little bit more about the maturity question that Marla asked you? You read the scouting report and it says there's questions about your maturity issue. Did you change anything? Um, did you have to convince teams that you'd grown up? Uh, I felt like uh, I didn't really have to convince any teams. You know, they just the people, that, the coaches that, I, that um, you know, that I had and everything, you know, they'll tell you. And they'll tell you uh, straight up just where I came from 
how far I've grown just from, from my freshman year at Texas. You know, I was blessed to have the same position coach. So, you know, he's seen me grow, you know, over the years. And, and at this point in my life, maturity is not an issue at all. You know, I'm just ready to work, ready to get to it. You know, not, I don't have any distractions in my life, so I'm blessed and just ready to get to work. I just wanted to ask you real quick one more thing. When you committed to all those verbal commitments to all those colleges, <laughs> what was what was so hard about all that? That was that was part of that immaturity, you know. So, it, you know, that's that's not me anymore. You, 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 when you wake up in the morning, you, you you hope you're not the same person you was the day before. It's all about growth. So, that's that's just my mindset, and, and that was, you know, just a a small piece of, of the puzzle.